And then, Steve, what about like a, a value play? I know we've mentioned it a couple times. Like each team's situation is totally different. We don't know how long many starters will play for certain squads. So is there someone you have your eye on early right now, the cheap price tag who could give us a lot of points? Yeah, talked about him last week, scored two touchdowns. Antoine Wesley over with the Cardinals, going back to the Cardinals here. Uh, he's also been someone that's seen a bump in play since DeAndre Hopkins went down, has seen uh, 13 targets, uh, excuse me, 15 targets over his last three games since uh, Hopkins was out. Um, he scored three touchdowns in that span. If they're going to keep giving him the ball, he goes downfield too. He's seen uh, uh, six targets already of tw uh, 20 yards or more. So if he's going to go go to him and going him to him deep, 4,100 is not much to pay for to get him in your lineup. Pierce, value play. Tyrell Grayson, he kept his jersey on last week and eight targets or six catches, 81 yards and a touchdown. The Buccaneers are going to be without Antonio Brown. They're without Chris Goodwin, uh, Godwin, and also Mike Evans. We don't know his status. I mean, he's going to be out there, but how much are they going to use him? We, and as much as this team should play conservatively, we know that Brady will pass 30 to 40 times. They've got to go somewhere. It looks like it's going to go to... Uh, Cyril here in this spot so I mean he's just too cheap to pass up with the volume that he's going to get all right Maddie is there someone too cheap to pass up in your eyes I don't think so because by the time Sunday rolls around there's going to be like 65 of these value plays just based on all the news that's likely to come through before then so the guy that seems the most underpriced to me and I guess is part of a good stack that I think has a lot of upside it's that Bengals Browns game and Case Keenum if he starts is forty eight hundred dollars so that allows you to do a lot if you play some cheaper Browns. Maybe Jarvis Landry doesn't play this week either, and you could play him with an even cheaper receiver um, against a Bengals team that you probably are going to need to score against. I mean, the Browns don't care about this game necessarily. Uh, it would just be nice to end the season on a good note. So if the Bengals are still throwing the ball a ton, trying to get the one seed, trying to get Chase Rookie of the Year, all of that, um, the Browns are going to have to throw too. And I think this could be a really, really cheap overall passing game. But Keenum 4,800, I mean, that's probably the cheapest viable quarterback we're going to get this week.